Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to another random gameplay slash FF split demonstration. I'm pretty sure I figured out what the issue I had with the frame rate during the upload was, but I'll show you the FF split settings that I have been using here so far. Oh, just, I just cut right into the screen, but whatever. Um, the differences that I'm using this time are the ultra fast video encode preset for better quality. Uh, the video resolution is 800 by 600, so when I crop it, the video quality will be higher and the frame rate is at 60 which is what it was before and that's about it really the rest are defaults uh, anyway about the issues that I had before with this I'm gonna tell you while I go collect the stars that I collected off camera during my uh, tests um, the 60 frames per second thing it's the only way that I can record Mario 64 here at a smooth quality, but when I produced the video in that frame rate, you know, in my video editor, it, it came out as buttery smooth as ever, of course, but when I uploaded it to YouTube, I actually got an alert that said that the video encoding settings or whatever, something like that, I forgot what, the, what it said, but basically it said that it wasn't all that suitable for internet streaming and that I should try to tweak my video settings and try again but I ignored it and just let it go up to see how it would be basically because you know you can never really tell with YouTube and their quality pr production and stuff like that they can they tell you stuff like oh yeah you detected that your video is shaky should we fix that for you no it makes it worse dear lord don't do that but anyway <laughs> so that's why I basically ignored it and just went on so, anyway, I'm going to get that star and get out of here. And when I af when I looked at the video afterwards, it was kind of choppy. And that was definitely not how it looked in the uh, in the editing, of course. And after I got it on the computer and, you know, finished producing it on the computer. And so I was like, hmm, I wonder why that is. And then I, I looked in the YouTube help as to what video settings they prefer. They don't accept um, videos with over 30 frames per second. Seriously. <laughs> so my 60 frames per second was re I mean my 60 frames per second video was reproduced by YouTube in their quality which was crap. <laughs> and that's what happened was they dropped the frame rate and made everything all choppy. If you swim through that ring you'll get a one up that will appear. So Despite all the stuff that they've been talking about, you know, all the HD video stuff for internet streaming and whatnot that they've been trying to improve on the site, they don't include 60 frames per second in their repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> of all the things they don't include, they don't include a higher frame rate. So, the video that I uploaded before was too high of a quality for YouTube. It, it's, yeah, it's unbelievable. So now what I'm doing is I am making it at a, at a lower frame rate when I reproduce the video in uh, uh, PowerDirector. <laughs> so I had to play around with a bunch of stuff to get things, and this is the result. And hopefully, hopefully it'll be nice and smooth once it gets up on YouTube. And let's go get the one over here. Oh, secret! <laughs> And I'll probably go to the princess's secret slide after this, just because it's a pretty fun little area. Uh, there's no way to breathe air anywhere in this place. Like you go, you could go all the way up to the top, and you will not be able to find air. So, you're, so your only way to recover life power there is to collect coins, which is a non-issue. Because if you're going from one red coin to the other, it's like, oh, whoa! <laughs> Somehow I missed it, but. It's like if you go from one coin to the other, you're going to recover your health to the max. So you don't really have to worry about that whatsoever. But anyway, as for YouTube again, you just cannot trust their, <laughs> their producing sometimes, I swear. <sighs> so when I seen that go up and it was all jittery, I was pretty frustrated about that. And I continued to experiment to see if I could get the um, smoothness at 60 frames per second to... Um, be accepted into the older video type that I was using for my other videos. See, I use uh, something called Windows Media for Zoom High Quality in uh, PowerDirector, and what happens is that it produces it in like 29 point some odd frames per second, and that obviously would not be uh, 60 frames per second, so when I would produce it before, it would be 
uh, a little bit jittery, and that's what the uh, ultra fast thing I did. Uh, I mean, the thing that I changed in FF Split was was to increase that speed and in turn the quality so that it stays smooth throughout and it's able to successfully cut the frame rate in half without actually looking all that choppy. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, come on, let me talk to the sign. Ah, welcome to Princess Toadstool's secret slide. There's a star here, hidden here that Bowser couldn't find when you slide. Press forward to speed up, pull back to slow down. If you slide really fast, you'll win the star. Well, that's actually two stars you can quote unquote win here. I'm going to go for both of them, actually, in one run. Well, I can only collect one, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just going to try and get the, the one that you have to speed down the slide as fast as possible. Oh, jeez, I almost fell off the edge. Go, Mario, go. I'm pretty much pressing forward the whole way through. Oh, I think I got it. Yes, I do. And inside the other box is a star that you don't have to slide down the slide as fast as I did to get. It's always there when you finish the princess's secret slide. And there we go. I really hope this video turns out well because I was really ticked at YouTube the last time. But then again, what haven't I been ticked at YouTube for lately in all honesty? I mean, <laughs> they've been screwing up so much stuff lately. It's, it's just awful. I mean, there's the one channels that are coming up which remove channel functionality and stuff. Ugh, like, we aren't gonna have backgrounds soon. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna try and shortcut this! Oh, I jumped way too early, didn't I? I forgot how that shortcut is, actually. <laughs> I just did that for the fun of it. You don't actually die when you fall off the edge of the princess's secret slide, That's, so it's no big deal whatsoever. Oh, hit, hit my face in the wall. Maybe I should just do this normally here. Oh! <laughs> Instead of trying to do speedrun tactics. But yeah, I, I can't believe how far down YouTube has fallen. You know, from how much functionality they had before to the glitch and restrictive fest that it is now. And the site's become so much more convoluted in design as well. Like, the, the best place to look at your subscriptions now is the... Uh, un forward slash my subscriptions page my underscore subscriptions page but they actually removed an easy link to that you would you just click your name on the upper right corner and then click subscriptions and you go to that page well click while well, clicking that subscriptions link under that pullout menu now would not take you to that page it would take you back to the home page which is completely flooded with crap because they put everything in that activity feed and it makes it hard to find what videos are new and which ones aren't. So bookmark the forward slash my subscriptions link in order for you to um, in order for you to get, have easy access to your subscriptions. And I swear that place doesn't even show all the subscriptions that you have anyway. So it's like, what's the point of even seeing the homepage nowadays when it is the most counterproductive place you can possibly be on the entire website? Going to that My Subscriptions page is by far the easiest place to see your subscriptions. This is... I've been flown in a while, so I'm trying to stay in control. Oh, crappers. I'm gonna have to turn around. <laughs> I haven't played Mario 64 in a good while. Well, I should say besides, you know, these random gameplays. So I, I'm, so I am a tad rusty at them. Other than me doing my video test, but you know, that's just... Video test. There we go. And I should probably hit this switch, shouldn't I? This will make the wing cap blocks appear where there were dotted lines before. Yes, I would like to save, definitely. And I will collect a star if you don't mind. Thank you. Here we go! Now I should probably go battle Bowser. Because I've got plenty of stars for that. <laughs> So let's go over there and open says me. The power of the stars has returned to the castle. Oh wait, what? Oh, there's Peach. Oh wait, wait, who was that? Oh my goodness, it's Bowser. Oh, trapped. Oh, crappers. Crap, it's a trap. Wahaha, you've stepped right into my trap. Just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend, watch your step. This place isn't that hard at all. <laughs> um, wait a second. 
I was just thinking that there is a red coin over here. Yeah, I, nah, I won't do the red coins here. I'm just gonna go battle Bowser. <laughs> this isn't a walkthrough, this is a random gameplay video. Whee! Look out for the fire around the corner. I should probably have it like this, so it's more like a side scroller, actually. That would be a little uh, more productive, I think, than having the camera at that angle. It's just easier to get, the, get through that first section when you can see that thin strip of land you're running across or jumping past whatever. It's a perspective thing, I guess. Or, or a personal preference thing, I suppose. And I really jumped the gun there, didn't I? <laughs> oh, that's okay. Mamma mia! Hey, hey. Don't be a copycat. Yeah, 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 friend was a good friend. <laughs> yeah, see, I like the camera like this so I can see where I'm ending up, like, just... It's easier that way for me. <laughs> and can I, like, get up here as a speedrun tactic? Yeah! And I fall right back down, oh, screw it. I was trying to jump to the platform and I failed completely. But I'm just playing here for fun anyway. It's not super mondo serious speedrun o'clock. Look out for the amps, they will electrocute you, but they don't do a very good job of it, actually, as you can tell. Uh, this one goes back and forth between those two platforms. You circle around, just walk from one to the other, and jump to this one happily. I think this would be better. This camera like this, actually, not straight ahead. So I can go all the way up here and skip those platforms down below. Hit this, go up the staircase, and into the pot. Wait, actually. Mario, it's Peach! Please be careful! Bowser is so wicked, he will try to burn you with his horrible flame breath. Run around behind and grab him with the tail with the B button. Once you grab hold, swing him around in great circles. Take the control stick to go faster and faster. The faster you swing him, the farther he'll fly. I'm tired of reading this. <laughs> this is random gameplay. I don't even think I'd read the sign boards if I was playing this game anymore like normally. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Don't still isn't here. <laughs> go ahead. Just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never! Ha! Well, that's what you think. Mario's like Superman. <laughs> Turn the camera towards one of those bombs to the side. So long, Le Bowser. And that's it. <laughs> it's really easy if you know what to do. The only Bowser fight in this game that's hard is the last one because, you know, the, the floor cuts away and whatnot. And we got a key! What the heck happened there? <laughs> that must have been an emulation glitch or something. Oh, whatever. It's still playable, I guess. And there's, that, there's kind of a couple audio glitches here and there as well, but whatever. Well, now that I got that key, I can unlock the basement door of death. I think I also unlocked the... Uh, uh, fifth world, if I'm not mistaken. Is there a boo down here? There's not a boo down here, so that means the fifth world is not unlocked just yet. Hmm. I forgot how many stars it takes, but whatever. Let's just open this up. Go underground! And I think this requires, what, 25 stars? Uh, 30 stars, okay. I'm not the most knowledgeable at Super Mario 64, but I did 100% it a few times. Uh, yeah, why not go to Lethal Lava Land? Why not? <laughs> Just hit my face right above the portrait. Well, whatever. Alright, one star from here, and I think I'm going to end off the video. Don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back! It's one-on-one -on -one with a fiery finish for the loser. And also get the hang of your long jumps before you come to this level. So anyway, they want me to go over to the bully, which is over at this platform here. I'm going to just jump and long- Oh shoot! Didn't mean to do that! Do not! Ground pound yourself in the lava. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to take a shortcut here in case you don't realize that. Oop. Ooh -ah! 
Oh, I failed. <laughs> this is the guy that you want to knock into the lava. Oopsie. No, 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 no. Oopsie. <laughs> and a star comes out of him once you knock him into the lava. I totally failed at that. I totally failed at the shortcuts and I totally failed at the bully. But I'll show you the, the, the route that you're supposed to normally take. You're actually supposed to go around to the left and uh, past this drawbridge and around to the left. Actually, there's a bunch of ways that you could get to that platform, so I shouldn't say that there there's any way that you're <laughs> that you're supposed to go per se, because this game is really open-ended, which is one of the reasons why people love this Mario game, because it's not mission-based per se as it is that you can collect stars at any time that you please. And I tried the shortcut there again, but I failed. But yeah, anyway, you want to go over around to that platform and to here normally, quote unquote. All right, you're going down. Actually, I'm going down, aren't I? Oh, 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 that works. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I just need to get myself on the land. These things fall. Look out. Oh, 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 oh. That was easy. I hit the staples easy button. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the video. I hope the FF split settings help you out, and I hope this shows you the quality FF split can give you. I hope you enjoy. And I will see you in the next video.